Hey, Raiden, where the hell are you? Picking up some heavy fire here. Damn it, this and, is a uh, team of five. Can we get it together? The other team are murdering us. Dude, where are you? Well, I'm by the fortress guarding the flag. Uh, Dude, where is it? Get back in the game, mate. Don't, don't turn us off. Raiden. Raiden, get up. For goodness sake, Raiden, get up. They're coming. I can hear you perfectly well, Caster. Thank you. Then get up. I think I'm going to lie here for a while. What are you talking about? Oh no, they heard you fall. I'm quite comfortable where I am. I've scanned you, nothing's broken, let's move on. My head hurts. Well, that's your own stupid fault for falling over a tree stump. Turn off the pain. I'm thinking. There'll be plenty of time for that later. At least walk. Fine. Happy now? What's the matter with you? I don't want to play anymore. We're about to be shot at. I'll deflect it. Oh. Hey, no fair. Where are you going? Raiden, they're still playing. Raiden? Hey, hey, hey! <sighs> Why are you giving up? You were winning. I have to get out of here. What? I'm leaving. I'm going away. I'm signalling for a medical drone. Perhaps there was something I missed. No, there's nothing wrong with me. I've been thinking about this for a while now. And falling over a log made up your mind? Strangely, yes. Well, where are you going? I need some air. Somewhere quiet. Raiden, you're in the middle of a forest. Where else can you go? You don't understand. I feel claustrophobic. Claustrophobic? Here? Yes, because all I do all day is play games here. I want a change, a chance to do something constructive. But you're one of the best battle players around. It doesn't mean anything. Then why not build a house like I did? Yeah, as I recall, it took you a whole day. Well? And did you feel satisfied afterwards? No, not really. I just knocked it down and built it again. Exactly, in your own twisted way, you got something out of it a second time. I got a patio. That's not what I meant. The fun was in the building. Afterwards, all you could do was sit and look at it and wonder what to do next. That's how I feel about this place and my life. I have no money to earn, no personal property to maintain. Everything's made for us. I don't really have to achieve anything to live. I, some utopia. What's wrong with playing battle? It's not real. It's a game. Nothing. Except perhaps my pride is at stake. In fact, look out there. This whole place isn't real. It's as constructed as you are. I can even remember it being built. Hey, where are you going? To find a genuine seasonal planet where I can decide what to do next. You're just guilty for enjoying yourself. Yeah, and it terrifies me how easy it is to do so. I'm going back to the game. Well, have fun. Raiden! You know, I don't think humans have ever been ready for utopia. You don't seem to be able to cope with the freedom. Well, that's ridiculous. Is it? You've just told me that you want to return to some natural planet in the vain hope that it will give you a link to humanity's glorious past. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. You'll blend in with all the other tourists. You're a drone. You wouldn't understand. Because I'm constructed too. In a way, you've been designed and built, whereas I'm the result of millions of years of evolution. And I am the result of many generations of elegant design and engineering, long past human comprehension. We're not so different, really. Oh, what, and you don't think it's true? It's strange. Yes, we robots could exist on our own, but we'd still have to keep you around for the entertainment. <laughs> Oh, come on. At least tell me why. A few weeks ago, I spent a night outdoors. I remember. I lay there all night, looking up at the sky. Great expanse of stars, galaxies, and nebulae. And gradually, it dawned on me I knew how it was all made. I'd even travelled to some of them, yet here I was, living on a false world built for our own comfort. 
And just for a moment, I imagine myself looking through the eyes of some prehistoric man. Just gazing up at the sky in wonder. With no knowledge of the stars beyond the names he'd given them. He had no memory of science and technology. He was alone under a magical ceiling of lights. For that one brief moment, I had a feeling of absolute peace. It just seems to me that the knowledge we have and the lack of ambition we have hasn't produced a utopia but a decline. I mean, here the landscape's considered full if you can see another house from the roof. I no longer have to hunt for food or fight with another tribe for land, I just play games. You know, when the last district abolished monetary exchange, which was by then redundant anyway, a local wit declared they've gone and taken all the fun out of gambling. Send you a postcard. <laughs> you most certainly will not. Much too tacky. Well, in that case, you'll have to come and visit. Now that will be far more interesting. Thank you. Bye, Castor. Good luck. He'll be back in a week.